Hi, Cougars. Have you heard of the word alias? That's when somebody goes by a different name. When an author uses a different name to publish books, it's called a pen name or a pseudonym. Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland and Alice in the Looking Glass, his actual real name is Charles Ludwig Johnson. Lemony Snicket, the author of a series of unfortunate events, is actually named Daniel Handler. Benjamin Franklin, the famous scientist and author, used up to 10 different pseudonyms. And one of your favorite book series, Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling's name is actually Joanne Rowling. When she first published Harry Potter, her editors didn't think that young boys would want to read a book about a famous young magician if it was written by a woman. The K is actually for her grandmother's name because Joanne Rowling has no middle name. She also writes under the pseudonym Robert Galbraith. She writes mystery books under that name so that she doesn't have the pressure of being known as the author of Harry Potter when she wants to promote and get those book types, those types of books published. We know that Dr. Seuss's real name is Theodore Seuss Geisel. So Dr. Seuss is a pseudonym or a pen name. Another pen name that he would sometime, sometimes publish under is Theo Lesig. Please try to remember the 1st of October. <clears throat> Everyone wants a big green kangaroo. Maybe, perhaps, you would like to. I want you to have them. I'll buy them for you. If you'll wait till the 1st of October. Everyone wants a new skateboard TV. Some people want two. Some people want three. Perhaps you want four. Well, that's okay with me. If you wait till the 1st of October. Just say what you want. You want pickles on trees? Want to swing through the air on a flying trapeze? Just say what you want, and whatever you say, you'll get on the 1st of October. What a day. When October comes around, you can play a hot tune on your very expensive new Juka Mazoon. I wish you could play it in May or in June, but May is too early and June is too soon. When October gets here, no work and no school. We'll build you a playhouse. We'll build you a pool. We would build them right now, but right now is too cool. And we'll buy you a wonderful Jeep of Fly Kite. We will, we will if you'll wait till the month is just right. October's the best because March is too dusty. And April won't do because April is too gusty. What more do you want? Do you and your dog want time to relax? Less time on your feet and more time on your backs. More time in the air and less time on the ground. You'll get it as soon as October comes around. Want to take a great trip? Well, I know a great ship. It sells to Alaska, Nebraska, and Sweden, making stops and good dops, and the Garden of Eden. 
and it sells on the 1st of October. What else do you want? You want to play a new sport? In October, we'll build you a Hawk Zucker court. <coughs> You'll get all that you want. You just write out your list. Everyone has an October 1st list. Write slowly now. Don't break your wrist. Then one of these days, the October 1st van will drive up to your house just as fast as it can. Whatever you want, you'll get in big bags and boxes and crates with your name on the tags. You'll have rockets to shoot. You'll have bombs you can burst on the wonderful night of October the 1st. On the 1st of October, you'll stay up all night drinking 66 packs of Doodle Delight. <clears throat> Whatever you ask for, I want you to get. But October, I'm sorry, just isn't here yet. So, be sure to be here. Be sure you're in town on October the 1st when the money comes down. It doesn't come down much in March or November or even September or in August, October, July, or December. But everything is yours on the 1st of October. See you tomorrow, cougars.